Carlos, how do you develop your black and white film? It's a good thing you asked because I have a video explaining that process. Welcome back. I hope everyone had a great, safe, and fun Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. I love watching scary movies. I love all that stuff. Now, this video is going to be something a little bit different. Last week, I had a client come in for a headshot, and during the session, we shot a roll of 35 millimeter film. Uh, I love photography. I love shooting on film, all kinds of film, 35 millimeter, 120, 4x5, instant film. I just really like it. It's one of my passions. Now, I shot this roll of 35 mil on my Canon EA1. It's one of my favorite cameras. It's really easy to use and it's pretty heavy. I could probably knock someone out with this. Now, I need to develop the film now. It's black and white, so I can do it here at home. I have to send it out when I shoot color, but it's a pretty easy process. Only a few chemicals and about 45 minutes to do. So we're gonna get started. I have everything set to go. Now, all I need to do is roll this onto my spool and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is figure out what is the ratio of dilution to my developer uh, per the film that I'm going to use. So I use a, an application called the Massive Dev app for that. I open it, the first thing I do is pick the film, which I am using right now, Kodak uh, Plus X. And the developer, I'm using D76, and I want it to one-to-one -one ratio. So equal parts water and developer, ISO 125. So now this gives me how long and at what temperature I should develop. So it's telling me that at a one-to-one -one ratio, I need to develop for seven minutes at 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. All we have to do now is mix our developer, equal parts developer to equal parts water, and we can get started. We have to pour that solution into the canister. And at the same time, we have to start the countdown on the timer. And then we agitate for one minute. After one minute, we tap a little bit on a flat surface to get any air bubbles up. Okay, seven minutes is up, empty this out, and then we're gonna rinse it out in water as a stop bath, and then we're gonna put the fixer in there. All right, so the developing, the stop bath, the fixing is all done. Now we have to rinse it out and see if we got an image. And we have an image. So now what we have to do is give this one final rinse, cut them, and then scan them and see what they look like. I hope you liked this video. If you did, click like, subscribe, and share. I need more subscribers, help me out.